I have several pieces of Harbor Freight Atlas equipment. I have the line trimmer, the uh, leaf blower, and the hedge trimmer. All have been excellent. The battery life is one of the things I like the most about it. The large 80 volt battery is great. So when I was in Harbor Freight recently for other, other shopping, I saw this clearance floor model. It didn't have a bag and they were just trying to get rid of it. And I got it for $125 and it's been great. It's really more impressive than I expected. But eventually I had the same question that many people on the website have, and that is where do you get a replacement blade? And while there is a PDF on the Harbor Freight website that lists replacement parts and what they cost, there's no place you can click on the website to buy them. And if you ask the store manager or staff, uh, they'll tell you they don't sell the replacement blades. So what do you do? Uh, well, it turns out after doing a bunch of Googling that this is a green word. They may still sell it. I have found it online for 400 and some dollars. But it's, uh, it's identical to this, really, even the wheels. And so I, once I found that out, I was able to get the part number for the blade. So this is the blade that came with the, the mower originally. Notice it has these two arrows that these plastic arrows that poke through the, the cutouts in the blade. This blade is uh, hard to find. I did not, I found one reference to this particular blade with these sort of pointy ends here. It included as part of the replacement kit, this part right here. And uh, every time I found it, it was unavailable. It might look available, but then when you click on it, it'll say out of stock or uh, discontinued or something like that but we're gonna hope that this blade will also work okay so this is a little bit of a surprise the blade I found online from a place called max tool showed a blade with these arrow cutouts but it was square tipped not pointy so I'm kind of surprised and pleased to see that this blade is actually an identical replacement. And it is a Greenworks, it is a Greenworks blade. So here's the part number of the blade. And the Harbor Freight replacement part sheet the one with the prices, but you can't buy the part. It was $24.99. This was $18 plus shipping. So I gave it a rough cleaning. I just used a sharp stick to scrape it because I didn't want to damage the paint. From past experience, I know you want to preserve that paint as long as you can. Um, so it came off easily. It's a 15 millimeter bolt. It comes off easy. It brings off the uh, cooling impeller with it. And then it. Okay, and that's as long as that's not damaged, you can reuse it. And um, I don't plan to like chuck this old blade. I just wanted to have a spare so I have one to sharpen and one to have on the tractor. And this one's not even really that bad. And I should say, I was impressed how sharp this blade was when it arrived new. Uh, it cuts the grass almost silently when it's new because it's so sharp. Um, and I'm going to try to keep it that way. And uh, it uses less battery, uh, or the battery lasts longer when the blade is sharper because the motor is load sensing, if your blade is dull and it's working harder to cut, uh, it will use the battery up faster. So blade maintenance is encouraged. Another thing I like about it 
is the way it folds up. Whether you're leaving it on four wheels or standing it up, it gets out of the way easily. And because this doesn't have any oil or gas in it, you can flip it up and however you want and nothing's gonna leak out. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's a game changer. For the typical homeowner, I tell you, gas is history. All right, so now I'm gonna just put the blade back on and that's all there is to it. So there's the new blade on. And one of the things that's nice about it is it's foolproof. Uh, you see the arrows pointing on the blade here. Uh, those tell you which way to put the blade on, but you can't mess it up because of the way those cutouts are designed. Uh, there's no way, other way it will go on. So that's nice. I don't know what the torque is for this bolt right here. So I didn't go too crazy with the air, with the, you know, my DeWalt here, uh, impact gun. I just tried to mo uh, mimic how much effort it seemed to take to take it off. But it's held on initially with some blue Loctite. So I'm sure that helped make uh, the resistance a bit more on the taking it off. So hope I haven't over tightened it. Don't think I did. Well, that'll be it for this video. I think it's uh, a pretty easy job to do and uh, maintaining the blade shouldn't be too difficult. It looks like either like an angle grinder or a file would be just right.